welcome back to another episode of Caddy Corner. This is going to be episode 48, I believe. 48 or 49, uh, but don't hold me too hard on that because I'm not exactly sure. Um, I'm Caleb. I'm Sydney. And uh, we got a, we got another show here for you today. Um, if you're new here, please be sure to rate and review the show if you're on the audio platforms. If you're on the video platforms, um, be sure to like and subscribe. And uh, if you're listening anywhere, thank you and share with your friends um, if you feel led to do so. Um, and so we definitely have a special guest here today, Sydney. Hello. Um, go ahead and introduce yourself. I know you've been on the show before, but you've been on After Hours, so this is the first time that you've ever been on the regular show, so go ahead and introduce yourself to these regular show fellows. Okay. Um, so those of you who don't know me, I'm Caleb's girlfriend, and our our four years is coming up, so don't even think about it. I'm pretty sure that's what you said on the last show, too. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. So... Uh, Tell me a little bit about what you do. Well, don't tell me, because I already know. But tell these guys. Um, well, I'm an orthodontist assistant, and um, I've almost been in my job for a whole year. So, yeah. Man. That's pretty much it. Good stuff. Um, well, this kind of show um, is going to look a little bit different than our usual Caddy Corner uh, uh, regular shows. Um, and it's going to be like a more laid-back kind of just chilling, kind of fun vibe. Um, I have a fun game, surprise game planned, so uh, be sure to stick around to the end for that. Um, but to start off with, we have both come with some interesting facts, or facts that we think are interesting, that we're going to cover, um, probably play a little game of ping pong, you know, back and forth between fact and fact um and then we will talk about the facts in between if it makes sense so i'll go ahead and, and give it over to you and you can go ahead and start it off with your first fact i want to hear it okay um my first fact is that animals that lay eggs do not have belly buttons and that makes sense i guess that does yeah because no no cord yeah yeah no umbilical cord um, but that is a pretty crazy fact. And you know, one question that I've always had, and I actually don't know if me and you've ever talked about this before, but, but this one question is of, did Adam and Eve have belly buttons? Hmm. Because they were like created and not birthed, you know? Yeah. I don't know. That's one crazy <laughs> thing, huh? That is you know, crazy. because it's like, there was no need for a belly button. So... Did they add one just because everyone else was going to have one? Or was it like, oh, you don't need one of these, so I'm not even going to put it on there? Maybe maybe God gave them belly buttons so they, they, they could, could fit in. Make babies. I don't think that has anything to do with <laughs> making babies. <laughs> I'm not really sure. I'm not either. <laughs> um, yeah, that that's pretty crazy. Um, my first fact kind of goes alongside that kind of because it is about an animal that lays eggs mm. and it's about an ostrich mm. did you know that an ostrich's eye is bigger than its brain i did how did you Actually, know that because you looked at the same website that i i got yeah. my facts from yeah uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's absolutely nuts yeah that is crazy yeah like why are their brains so small well have you met an ostrich no no <laughs> They're pretty dumb. <laughs> actually, actually, yeah, I have. They're not the smartest of animals. Yeah, they actually are pretty stupid. If you don't know anything about ostriches, whenever they get scared and they hide, they just put their head in the gr in the dirt or like the <laughs> sand because they like like you know the saying like if you can't see me then <laughs> I, or if I can't see you you can't see me. Yeah. Well, they take that like to the next level huh. and they just hide their head and mm. but their whole body is there to be seen. Ostriches, yeah. man. One crazy animal. Cool. They're fast. They're fast as junk, but they can't fly. Yeah. They're the biggest bird that can't fly. 
Yeah, but imagine, that imagine, makes sense. imagine how <laughs> sketchy it would be if you saw an ostrich flying around. Yeah, that'd be really scary. So scary. Those things are huge. Yeah. Man. Mm. Next fact. <laughs> Um, the Mr. Potato Head was the first toy to be advertised on television. That's crazy. I, and that actually, that makes me wonder, when did it come out? You know? Can I guess? Yeah. Oh, crap. I don't even know whenever TVs were invented. I'm going to take a wild guess and say 19, um, 19... 33. Mm, you're close, but you're off by 20 years. 1953. <laughs> 20, oh, really? Yep. 1953 was whenever Mr. Potato Head came out. Hmm. It's crazy. But, wait. This says Mr. Potato Head appeared in 1953, followed by Brother Spud, Sister Yam, <laughs> various <laughs> pets, and a car and a trailer. Um... Hasbro promoted the Happy Family in Life magazine, and Plastic Potato Head appeared in 1964. So, I don't know what year he came out on TV. I'm guessing it's probably closer to 1953. And I'm guessing that there was, like, maybe maybe a plush, a plush potato head, and not the plastic one. I've never heard of Brother Spud before. Me either. <laughs> Brother Spud, Sister Yam, and various pets. Hmm. Nice. Um, yeah. So my next fact, and this one's kind of for you. I kind of picked it for you. And it says that human teeth are the only part of the body that could not heal themselves. That's crazy. Hmm. And it had a little explanation. It says teeth are coated in enamel, obviously, yeah. which is not a living tissue. So your enamel cannot, like, regenerate. Mm -hmm. That's why... If you have decalcification on your teeth, which is your enamel wearing down, it doesn't it doesn't go away. It stays never, there. It never comes back. For a long, long time. Yeah. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. I guess that's also why, like, this is kind of freaky, you know, but whenever you find, like, a dead skull, the teeth are always still there. But wouldn't that, wouldn't that contradict what you're saying? No, because they, they don't. They're oh, like cause it never yeah, they're like I bones, see. so they don't they don't like rot or whatever. I see. Yeah, it's crazy talk. Yeah. Man, teeth it's pretty cool. crazy. They don't they don't heal themselves. Yeah, teeth are weird. But they're not. They could be. They could be if, if you, you think they look are. At it like that. <laughs> okay, so for fact three. There is a McDonald's in every continent except Antarctica. That's crazy. It makes sense, though, too, you know? Yeah. It's like they couldn't put a McDonald's in Antarctica. No one goes there except for Eskimos. Mm. I think <laughs> some people, you know, live there. No, no one lives there. Really? Yeah, dude. I'm pretty sure the only people that go there are, like, scientists who go well, to, like, study the animals. Look up the population the of Antarctica. I guarantee you it's like zero and a half. I think you're wrong. There are about 4,000 people through the summer months and about 1,000 otherwise. See? It's crazy. You know, they could but use a McDonald's. Okay, <laughs> yeah. See, this says most residents of scientific situations do a summer only. This is anywhere from three to six months, with a smaller number staying over the Antarctic winter. So, like, they're scientists still. I bet. I bet the um the scientists would really enjoy McDonald's whenever they go down. You know. I bet they would too, but I bet you they're probably not even thinking about that because I bet you they're so cold. Yeah. That they're like not even worried about McDonald's at all. Yeah. I can't imagine how cold it is there. Um, so my fact number three is ancient Romans use, used to drop a piece of toast in their wine for good health. Hmm. And you're probably thinking that's a stupid fact. But that's the reason why people say to this day, I would like to raise a toast. Hmm. Raise a toast. 
yeah, like, you know, whenever you're at an event, like a wedding, right. and people, like, go up there with their, with their ding, 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 ding. <laughs> I would like to make some toast. You know? They, they don't say they want to make toast. Want to make a toast. <laughs> but it's because, <laughs> it's because the ancient Romans way back in the day used to put toast in their wine. And that's what people Ooh. drink whenever they make a toast. Hmm. Yep, pretty crazy. Crazy fact. I bet you that tasted horrible. I bet it tastes like a peanut butter and jelly, maybe, <laughs> without the peanut butter. And yeah, without the jelly, too. Do they eat the bread after? I'd, I would assume so. Soggy grape bread? That's pretty gross. <laughs> hey, whatever you're into, they didn't have much to, like, mess around with, you know? Yeah. Like, they were limited on their options, probably. Yeah, I guess. Mm. I bet they loved it. Yeah. They said, I would like to raise a toast. I would like to raise my toast, my soggy toast, mm. for good health. I guess. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, for my fourth fact, I have the nose can remember... 50,000 different scents, which is crazy, because if our nose couldn't do that, then nostalgia probably wouldn't exist. Yeah, that is crazy, because whenever you think about, like, you smell something that you recognize, you know, you're never like, man, my nose remembered that. Mm -hmm. You're like, I've smelled this before. Right. Like, I just know the smell. But if you didn't know the smell, then you would always be confused. You know, like whenever you smell something <laughs> new, you're like, you're like, what is this smell? Mm -hmm. You're like, this is a new smell. That it, we, you would feel like that <laughs> every time you went to like the same places that you always go to. Yeah, it's kind of like we're dogs. Yeah, <laughs> maybe the dogs can't remember that many smells, and that's why they like sniff so much. Maybe because it did say the human nose, so maybe it's different for animals. Man, that's why because they then like sniff. <laughs> dogs butts and stuff. <laughs> I bet that is. It. I bet that's it. I bet they're like, "What's that smell coming from your back, huh? Your, your behind, you know, your backside." Yeah. They're like, "Hmm, ugh." They gotta get closer. <laughs> Make sure it really does stink. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> that's enough. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um. Yeah, this one's pretty crazy. Um, the actors who voiced Mickey and Minnie Mouse, got married in real life. <gasps> really? How crazy is that? Yep. Russie Taylor, who was voicing Minnie Mouse, and Wayne Allwine, who was voicing Mickey. Sorry, guys, if I messed your names up. Um, <laughs> tied the knot in, in 1991. Oh. That that wasn't that long ago. Nope. I don't know why I looked so surprised. Yeah, these definitely were not the <laughs> original Mickey and Minnie's. Oh, uh, right. Yeah, definitely not. That's not as cool. Well, they didn't even have, they didn't have voices, did they, in the beginning? They Weren't they just cartoons that just like kind of. Like well, silent like cartoons, maybe? Yeah. I don't know. Because they a good were like question. in black and white for a little bit. Well, black and white ones still had voices, too. Yeah, but they were kind of just like. And, like, they didn't, like, say, like, you real, might be right. real words, I don't think. But you I might could be, be right. wrong. I didn't, I wasn't alive then, so. Yeah, that's true. That was a little bit before our time, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I guess. Fact five? Yeah, the last one. <laughs> okay. Um, the TV was invented two years after the invention of sliced bread. <laughs> mm. See, this is where... This is where this gets a little controversial, I think. Hmm. Because it's like, people were definitely doing sliced bread for a long time. Before, like, the invention of sliced bread in the package, you know? Um, like, you just got a loaf of bread that was already sliced and you didn't have to slice it. Yeah, I guess, I mean... Yeah, sure. Which, I mean, I guess that's what they mean, like, greatest invention since sliced bread. Because <laughs> sliced bread, like, pre-sliced, was pretty cool at the time, I guess. It's like you got to save 15 minutes. You know, it probably didn't take that long. But over time, accumulated, maybe. Uh, like a minute here, a minute there, you know. Yeah, but it is crazy because the TV was... 
you, you know, like a yeah, long, that's that's a, long a time ago. that's a big advancement too, you know. Yeah, and it's like, how does that even happen? Like, how did you invent a TV? Wait a second, the TV was invented two years after. Okay, I see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how could you invent sliced bread without a TV? <laughs> I was confused because I was like, "That how does that even line up?" But yeah, I guess I mean that makes more sense. I bet you the dude who invented the the TV was like eating sliced bread while he was inventing the TV. That's what made him do it so much better. Probably that makes sense to me. Yeah. Man. He probably dipped it in his wine, too. <laughs> I bet you're right. <laughs> and I bet you his name was Wayne Alwine. Mm-hmm. Um, so this one's crazy, too. You know how people say, I'll be back in a jiffy? Yeah. Yeah, so a jiffy is actually a unit of time. And what? it is, yeah, it's one one hundredth of a second. What? Yep, a jiffy. Nobody is ever back in a jiffy. No, no one is ever <laughs> back in a jiffy. Nobody. I've never been back in a jiffy whenever I said that. No. <laughs> <laughs> Who yeah. would have thought though that that was an actual unit of time? Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Cuz I wouldn't have I wouldn't have thought that. Not me. A jiffy, 1 one hundredth of a second. Man. Well, that was a fun segment. So now, I got a little surprise game. And so, before we get started, I guess a little backstory would be helpful. Um, but there's not much backstory to be backstoried. Um, basically, what's going to happen is I'm going to read a list of celebrities, and we are going to put them in the Illuminati um, category. Maybe Illuminati category and definitely not Illuminati category. All right. Mm. So one thing that me and Sydney are pretty obsessed with <laughs> is are celebrities in the Illuminati or not? Because, right. you know, these days it's the question to be had. And so um, without further ado, this is a this is a list from Ranker dot com that is. The title of the list or article is Famous Alleged Illuminati Members. So we're going to see if these alleged Illuminati members are actually in the Illuminati in our opinion. So okay. there's definitely probably going to be more yeses and maybes than definitely not. But we'll just see. We'll just see how it goes. So very first on the list, Angelina Jolie. Mm. This will probably be a better one for you because I don't even know what she does. I'm pretty sure she sings songs. She is married to Brad Pitt, I think. Ooh. I think. Man, that's a that's a game yeah, changer. She broke up Jennifer Aniston and Brad Pitt. She broke them up? Yeah. Definitely then. Well, no doubt in my mind. Uh, I don't even know what she does, to be honest. Let's see. It has like a little thing here. Um oh she's an actor. Yeah. Actress. <laughs> I'm just she, kidding. I don't know. She gives she me was bad in, vibes. Uh, she was in yes. Tomb Raider. Um, Irrelevant. I've never even seen it. Jennifer Aniston is way better. All right, then. Um, Next, Paris Hilton. No. All right. <laughs> what is your answer? I don't know. I don't know her. She's pretty cool. Let's say... I think she did like reality TV. All I right. I don't really know, but she doesn't oh, seem like no she could way. do much harm. She was in Zoolander. <laughs> Zoolander. Yeah. That movie sucks. That's a bad one. <laughs> All right. Britney Spears. No. no doubt in my mind. No. Yeah. No, they took her. Yeah. She took her. She's probably dead. Took her to the Illuminati. No. Yeah. yeah. Well, she tried to escape and then they murdered her and now there's like this crazy person trying to be like her. Hashtag free Britney. Listen. <laughs> she's definitely in it. Uh, or old Britney anyway. Is that Cardi B? It's Kim Kardashian. 
can't see. <laughs> um, no. All right. I'll go with you. Rihanna? Yes. Man. That's crazy. She was just in the halftime show. She was acting a little sus, though. I don't know if anyone saw, but during the halftime show, she totally put up a little triangle that action. That is not what that was for. I just don't shoot the messenger. I'm just going off what I saw. Haley Berry? You know who that is? That says Halle Berry. Oh, sorry. I don't know who that is. It says she is widely believed to be a member of the Illuminati. Cool. I wouldn't know. Beyonce? Yes. Mm-hmm. Miley Cyrus? Yes. Mm-hmm. Which is sad because Dolly Parton is her godfather, or god godmother. Yeah. Well, she went off the rails. I think she's kind of reeled it back in a little bit. But, like, one thing that you told me a, a couple weeks ago that I'd never known before is how, like, whenever people are allegedly in the Illuminati and they're trying to get out, then they have to, like, embarrass themselves or whatever right. so that they don't, like, die in the 27 Club. Mm -hmm. Is that what you said? I think so. Something like that. Well, she has definitely been through her <laughs> embarrass myself phase. Yeah. And I think we've seen a little bit of that around a lot lately. Um so I think she definitely reeled it back in a little bit um, because, you know, like Disney Channel, Miley Cyrus, you know, Hannah Montana. Yeah. She was pretty cool. Um, and then she went all crazy. And now she's kind of like getting a little more normal maybe. I don't know. I haven't seen much of her lately. Yeah. But at least she's not on like the front pages of the news anymore, you know. Mm. Madonna. Yeah. Definitely. Kanye West. Mm -mm. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. He likes Jesus too much. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you can like Jesus. Anymore. Yeah, I think he's just cuckoo in his own way. Yeah. He's just like, I don't know. I think he's so famous that he like has no filter anymore. So that's why he says some yeah. like the crazy things that he says. Yeah, people just but don't like, like him. Well, and it's like anything that he does is like he gets backlash for like two weeks and then people like still listen to his music, you know? Yeah. So... It kind of just doesn't even matter. Um, Barack Obama. <laughs> I don't... That's like... I don't know. I don't think that you um, could be the president if you're a part of that. You know... What? I don't think that's how that works. Um, you know... I'm going to say no. Yeah, me too. I mean, look at him. He's like, <laughs> I mean, he's not very happy in this picture, but he's a usually pretty happy guy. George W. Bush, man, another president. They have said some really crazy things about him. They said that he, like, planned 9-11. I did hear about that a long time yeah, ago. Yeah, because apparently, apparently he wanted to go to war with, um, like, Iraq and Iran and stuff, and he wanted to send troops to Afghanistan or something like that, but then he couldn't unless they did, like, a terrorist attack. So he, like, planned one and, like, flew planes into the World Trade Center and caught a terrorist attack so that he could send troops over to Afghanistan to kill Osama bin Laden. Yeah, but that probably, that's probably not true. That's I, it's way far-fetched, I think. Yeah. I think that, like, <laughs> any time, like, a real tragedy happens, people always try and, like, come up with things to make it make sense you know right. whenever it just like doesn't make sense there's just like crazy people and like evil people yeah um and so i'm gonna say no on him yeah no just because i don't think anyone could do something that crazy mm -hmm. adolf hitler he was no. just a nazi he's just crazy <laughs> well no okay this is crazy this says it is largely believed that adolf hitler and the nazis were funded by the illuminati I mean, probably, because, you the know. The Rockefeller family, who are alleged to be the Illuminati leaders, gave tons of money to Hitler. Yeah, because he's crazy. And he's in the same bloodline as the Rockefellers. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. I didn't even know the Illuminati was a thing that long ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lady Gaga. Mm hmm Yeah. Definitely. Jay Biebs? Definitely. Ah. No. I don't know. He's uh, just a butthole. Yeah, he's like... To he's, be honest, he's just too cocky, yeah. but I don't think he's an Illuminati. He's too mean. Jay-Z, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, him and Beyonce. They are, they're or scary. Or not Beyonce. Yes, um, Beyonce. Oh, yeah, yeah Beyonce. Yeah. They're the ones who are married. Yeah, they're weird. Michael Jackson. Yeah. Ooh. 
Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Joseph Stalin. What's up with all these old world war people? World war people. Sure. <laughs> um. Let's see. Bill Clinton. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Definitely. <clears throat> Ronald Reagan. No way. Why are there so many political people on here? I don't know. This says Ronald Reagan has been photographed displaying Illuminati hand symbols. But like, <laughs> so is Rihanna. Maybe he was just in Arizona. And Beyonce. You know? I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to tell. People also use Photoshop. <laughs> I don't know who this guy is. He's got a funny name. John what? F. Kennedy. Uh, Dude. No. No way. He got shot in the head. I want Be more nicer c- to him. celebrities that I actually know. Alicia Keys. No. All right. Bill Gates. No. I don't know. Not Bill Gates. I don't know. Wait, what? Does he own Facebook? He owns Instagram. Um, no. Twitter. No. <laughs> <laughs> Microsoft. Microsoft. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't even let me get it out. <laughs> it like everything I else had, but I, that. I had to guess until I was right. Yeah, Bill Gates. Uh, Dude, he's one of the most powerful dudes ever. I it's mean, hard to say that like, he did it without help, you know? But, like, he's just successful. You know? He's just I, smart. He is. He's a smart dude. You know, they they probably were like, if you don't give us a share of this money, then we're going to kill you. So then he had to join. Maybe. Maybe. Lil Wayne, no way. Mm. It's hard to say. No way. Mm, he means to too well. I don't think he does. Look I at think him. he's just too relatable. What does that even mean? Yeah, I'm going to take a guess. I'm going to say yes. Well, we're going to agree to disagree. Because there's no He says way. lots of bad stuff in his songs. That's not what I'm saying. He's even a rapper. Obviously, he's going to say though, bad things. Even though they're a vibe. But he just means too well. Mm. Eminem? Mm, yeah. Really? Yeah, you know, something super crazy. Not that any of you probably care. Um, yeah, you know, uh, Megan Fox, the actress. Um, and then, oh gosh, uh, Machine Gun Kelly, who's definitely in the Illuminati. He's so weird. Um, anyway, they broke up, and now she unfollowed everybody except for three people on Instagram. I don't know if it's still three, but she followed Eminem, and apparently she's trying to shoe her shot with Eminem. And Machine Gun Kelly hates Eminem. Yeah, they do. They do so not I like each other at that's all. That's pretty funny. But, um, but yeah. All three of them. Mm. Bad vibes. Nicki Minaj. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the only way she stayed relevant. <laughs> She's crazy. David Bowie. I don't this know. This one's for you. I mean, rock and roll legend. <coughs> Kind of. Uh, not really here in America, but. I brought Caleb coffee, and he literally has take like took him like three sips, and it's melting. It's halfway gone. Okay, and it's melting. <laughs> it's going to be nasty if you wait. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> See, I wasn't going to let him waste my five dollars. Mm. Too good. Um. Ooh. I'm gonna say no on David Bowie. LeBron James. Yeah. Definitely. No way around it. Um. Chris Brown. Yes. Yeah. Billy Graham? Mm. No way. You know who is, though? Alex Murdoch. We need to watch that documentary that they came out with because right. everybody at work is talking about it, and I believe that he killed his son and his wife. I'll tell you what you need to watch, and everyone listening to this podcast too, <coughs> there's a documentary out on Netflix called The Hatchet-Wielding Hitchhiker, hmm. and it is one of the best documentaries I've ever seen. You watched it without me? I did. When? Today. 
See, while I'm over here slaving away, Caleb has his class canceled and he watches <laughs> cool stuff without me and doesn't tell me. Listen, I've I've suggested every time that documentary pops up on Netflix, you, I'm like, I'm like, we should watch that. that. We should watch that. And then Liar. and then she always scrolls right on past it. So today I was just like, I'm watching it. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Myself. It's the guy with the curly hair and the bandana. I always see him on TikTok. Yeah, so that it's, guy it's on good. TikTok. Is it's, he the bad guy? He is. Ooh. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nuts. That backfired. <laughs> He's not. He's good. He's a good guy. <clears throat> no. Nah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. You just need to watch it. Mm. It's um it's crazy. Mm. Um All right. Billy Graham, no way. He's like, do you know who he is? You know the Billy Graham Library in Charlotte? Billy Graham Parkway. <laughs> Billy Graham Parkway, yeah, in I Charlotte. Do. He's like, um, I remember he was like this big evangelistic. Isn't like, he dead? Yeah, he just died I, a couple years I ago. I remember his funeral. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Well, I, didn't, I didn't go, but I remember it. Right. Yeah, you remember. <laughs> um, so apparently there's a lot of people from the government in the <clears throat> Illuminati, allegedly. Right. Honorable mentions. Franklin D. Roosevelt. Richard Nixon, two presidents. They didn't even put Jeffrey Epstein on there. Well, this list is not over yet. Um, Whitney Houston. Mm. 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 Yep. I don't know. This is, it was believed that Whitney Houston was killed for a blood sacrifice. Killed? So apparently Whitney Houston, the one we know and love, not the real one. I don't believe that. Yeah, me either. Tupac. Mm. Mm. He's a part of the 27 Club. Like, he's one of the dudes who died at 27. Then, yeah, most likely. I, I think so, too. Do you have any that that you that are not on the list that you would suggest? Ooh, the Rockefeller guy. Um, Yeah, there's a couple honorable mentions on my, my end. Ooh, I have one. Yeah, go ahead. We probably have the For same you. one. Jake Paul. Mm, <laughs> no. I don't think so. I don't think Jake Paul's a part of the Illuminati. Mm. I think he fell off too hard for him to be a part of the Illuminati. Because mm. one of the things about the Illuminati is, like, they keep you famous forever and ever, you know. Right. And I think, like, unless he just didn't like YouTube, and now he's, like, I mean, he's definitely famous in, like, other ways, too. But I don't think that his YouTube channel would have fell so hard if, uh, if he was a part of that, you know. Yeah. Um. Sam Smith. Duh. Obviously. But, like, some people may not know. Duh. If you don't know about what's going on with him, he's one crazy dude. One crazy dude. Um, Another one is Jeffrey Epstein, like you said, that I believe, I believe is. Kurt Cobain, I believe he was. Jimi Hendrix, I believe he was, too. Hmm. How about you? Oh, you know who's a good one, I think? <laughs> I think that girl that I really don't like on TikTok that has the really bad northern accent oh my who God. does makeup. <laughs> no. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah, dude, she so sold her soul. No. And that's a fact. 100%. No, she did not. You can't, you can't tell me otherwise. Okay. You might be right, but I, I highly doubt. Dr. Dre. Probably. Um, ooh, what? Celine Dion? Definitely. I don't know. I don't know enough about her. No way. This says Jim Carrey. Yes. No. Yes. No. He's the one who went on the Jimmy Kimmel show and, like, <gasps> and, and like exposed the Illuminati. I remember that. Maybe it was all a scam. No way. What about what about Jimmy Fallon? Yeah. You think? Yes, and what's the other late night show? James James Corden. James Corden. Oh, for sure, James Corden. 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 I yeah. said Corden. You said Gordon. I just I just slurred it. I said Corden. 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 Yeah. I said that. Um yeah, he definitely is. How about Will Smith? Yeah. What yeah. about the Grown Ups cast? I don't, I mean, call me, like, uh, call me 
crazy or whatever, but I think that there's no chance. <laughs> really? I think there's no chance. You just never know. Sydney is like, she's going to old school today with pencil and paper. <laughs> And like it, is, it would be so hard for me to get distracted with that. And you're yeah. like just like playing around. So I guess that means it's about time to wrap this one up. Um, thanks everyone for for tuning in today. Um, like I said earlier, very special guest. Um, thanks Thank a you. lot for coming on. Thanks um, for having me. No, anytime really. Um, and. Yeah, like I said, this one was a little different. Hopefully, you still enjoyed, though. I know that this isn't the kind of... I know y'all y'all probably miss Austin, and you're like, she sucks. But I didn't really have a choice. <laughs> you know, I'm glad you said it, because, I mean, I was thinking it, too. <laughs> but, um, no, nah, I'm just playing. Yeah, like I said earlier in the show, be sure to rate and review if you haven't already. Like and subscribe on YouTube. Um, this show comes out every Friday, um, and then we have After Hours that comes out every Wednesday. This show was more like how After Hours usually is, um, and so take that for what it is. This show is usually more informative um, and kind of like self-improvement vibes, which I guess you could totally consider this a self-improvement episode, too. It's just... Uh, yeah, we grew your brain, actually. Yeah, Life so. lesson learned today. Don't believe everything that celebrities say because they could be a part of the Illuminati. So always be skeptical, even if it's someone you really like. Um, Maybe. Maybe that could be the life lesson. Maybe. Um, And also, I hope you liked our fun facts because we worked really hard on those. We did research for like days before this show came out. Yeah. For the for the five facts that we came with. We totally didn't just like come up with them at this table right before we pressed record. Um yeah, so that's everything. Thank you again and we will catch y'all next week. Peace. Peace.